Good afternoon from a very quiet house. Listen. Hear that? Silence. Awesome. <laughs> right now, AJ is gone to his father's for the rest of the weekend. And Bill and Casey went to uh, his sister Kathy's house to watch a college football game today. I don't know if it's Michigan State or U of M or whatever it is, but apparently it was a big deal. Game started at noon, and so they're going to be gone for a couple hours over there, and I am alone in the house. It's awesome. It's amazing. Um, so Bill, though, before he left, was nice enough to bring up <laughs> all these tubs and the tree and more things up from the basement because I just kind of want to spend the next few hours putzing around, taking my time, and decorating the house for Christmas. Usually this would be like a big family event and everyone would be moving and doing things. And you know what? Sometimes that's more of a pain in the butt than it is a good thing. Um, so I'm not going to put the tree up though because um, I always have Bill put the tree up. I have very thin skin on my arms and there's something about putting up that tree. It tears my hands and my arms up. I mean, it just like literally shreds the skin on my arms. So I'm going to be focusing just more on like the mantles and the shelves over there that Bill built for me for Valentine's Day and like the countertops and doing all that stuff. And then when Bill and Casey come home in a little while after the football game, then we'll get the tree up and put all the ornaments and lights on it and do all that stuff. And then tonight, we have a free weekend of HBO for Thanksgiving weekend, whatever. So tonight at 8 o'clock is the movie Batman vs. Superman. And so that comes on at 8 o'clock tonight. So that's the plan for how we're going to chill out and relax tonight. And maybe I'll make Casey a big cup of the hot cocoa that I just bought or something like that. So that's the plan for now. And again, I hope you're enjoying all these vlogs. I had to slow down a little bit because, quite frankly, I was getting pooped. <laughs> For a while there, I was getting like two up a day. I couldn't carry that out. Although, I have enjoyed just being like a professional vlogger. It's fun. Um, and I can only do this right now because, you know, I'm on a, a short holiday from work. Trust me, once I go back to work, I cannot keep up this pace. It's just not doable. Um, but so, yeah, I'm going to get busy with my house right now. Right now, all traces of fall have been officially removed from the house. Anything that was pumpkin-y or orangey or autumnal is gone and put away back in their little, little tubs for next year. And don't laugh, but this is what's on my TV right now. This is actually YouTube, um, and this is the Christmas Yule Log with Winter Sounds. <laughs> I know some of you are thinking that is like the dorkiest thing ever, but it's the sounds. It's, I find it very soothing, very relaxing, and hearing that winter wind whistle and blow just kind of puts me in the mood. I mean, because it's not just the fireplace. I could build my own fire if I wanted to. It really is the sound. I like hearing the sounds of, of the wind and the snow howling. So with that, I'm going to get back to work and listen to my dorky YouTube uh, crackling Yule log and have some fun decorating. I love this part of it. I love staging. I'm all about the staging. I love that part. So apparently this weekend is the weekend for me to be really sappy and emotional. Yesterday, taking books out of Casey's room, I was on the verge of tears, looking at all these titles and having all these memories flood in my head. And today, you know, I'm decorating the house and I'm just kind of taking my time doing it. And I am really feeling the presence of my mother. Um, so many of the items in this room were something she gave me, something I gave her that my father returned to me when she passed, or something we had duplicates of because she loved mine so much 
I had to go out that night and get her one too. Um, that was very common. Uh, the first one is this one. And I get so many compliments on this. Everybody loves this winter scene and the way it sparkles and shimmers like diamonds. This was from Target when... Actually, this is from before AJ being born. That's how old this is. And she came to my house that evening and saw mine. And she fell in love with it. The next morning, I made a beeline to Target to get her one. Because I knew when I bought mine, my Target only had like four of them left. I was like, please let there be one. Please let there be one. And there was one there. And so I bought her one. And that literally sat on the kitchen table in her kitchen because that's where she spent most of her time in the kitchen that was on the kitchen table all season long and she would even keep it there even after Christmas had come and gone just to have it a little bit longer then there was this my mom bought me this uh, in Frankenmuth at the Barbarian Inn there was always a music music box that played these little records but the one at um how do I get this out? The one at Frankenmuth was like, you know, a thousand dollars. So I believe she actually found this on QVC. And you turn it on. And years ago, the characters in there used to move. The chair rocked, the train went around a circle. The movement has stopped, but the music box still works, the lights still work, and you have records in the back that you can take out and change the uh, CD or the chimes to play different songs in there. She was so excited to buy me this for Christmas. And this is one I bought her. She always wanted a snow globe that would keep going and not stop. So this one, the blower doesn't work because that's how old this stuff is. But it does light up. It also plays music. And once upon a time, there was a little, like a wind machine in there that would keep the glitter going back and forth until the battery power would run out. This was another thing that my mom absolutely loved. So there's just a lot of memories tied up in all this stuff. One last thing I want to share is this silly thing, believe it or not. Um, this was something I bought myself at Hallmark. And... <laughs> So, and it keeps doing other stuff, but again, she loved that so much that the very next day, I drove to Hallmark to buy her one of them, too. So, it's just, without my family here to distract me, I'm kind of going down memory lane, and I'm missing my mom. No matter. I am done for today. I'm done not because the house is done, but because I am done. I have been going at this for days and days now, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm not even putting up my Christmas tree today. It'll go up tomorrow. Um, I will give you a quick tour of what I've got accomplished and staged so far, but yeah, I just, I just want to lay on that sofa, throw a blanket over me, and possibly fall asleep for a little while. So, but I will show you real quick what I've done so far. On the one end table here, I have my Yankee candle, and my special candle holder I bought a couple years ago from the Yankee Candle Shop, and one of my many Santa Clauses. I have a thing for Santa Clauses and snowmen. And then coming around, we have a little stuffed bear on the TV. I am still listening to the dorky Yule Log wind sound. Snowman here. This spot is where the tree will be going tomorrow, so that's why this spot has nothing in it. Coming round. Here is the fireplace mantle. These are my boy's um, advent calendars, so little chocolate advent calendars. We have AJ and Casey's nutcrackers. This lighthouse is another one of those swirling light things. My dad bought that for me many years ago. Uh, it was also from Target. For a period there, there was a time when this was really popular, where the lights would flash different colors and then suddenly like a do a shimmery sparkle thing so yeah that's when I got that here are stockings 
mine, Casey, Boo's, AJ's, and Bill's. And I have my big Santa Claus down here on the hearth. And my snowman on his rocking horse is right here. On this table, we have, don't laugh, but you know, Christmas Kleenex. And a little snowman sitting here. And for me, Christmas, I think of England. Just English Christmases and a Christmas carol. So all of my English books are here. Um, English country decorating, bringing home England. Uh, the essence of English life. A little light reading. And then I have my snowflake pillow on the sofa. I have another one of those pillows. I'll be gosh darn if I know where the heck it is. I cannot find it anywhere. Then over here, this runner, I adore this runner. It came from Pottery Barn Kids, and it's actually meant to like decorate like the kids table, but it actually is a perfect fit for our little buffet table here. And then I've already showed you the music box, and the winter scene, and then the disc playing music box over here. Coming round, the table is done. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this runner. The runner was new in the November Pop Sugar, and unfortunately, it doesn't really match. The runner is more of a burgundy wine, whereas the placemats are definitely red and white, although they've kind of turned a little pink from washing. Um, and then I swapped out the yellow hydrangeas in the vase here for red hydrangeas. And then up here, we have little baubles and bits and a snowman and another Santa. And I'm also looking for the other one of this. I have a pair of those. And another snowman here. On the kitchen counter, I just have this little guy right here waving hello. And then finally, over here in the corner, that's a bag for the Salvation Army, um, we have a couple more snowmans and a little candle holder. So that is everything, unless you really want to see my boy's Pottery Barn Christmas dishes. Um, that's everything I've done today. And this actually took a lot longer than you would think it would, because I had to first take everything that was already in those places and find a place to stick it all, then get all this up. So, yeah, it is time for me to call it a day today. I will be sure to come back, though, tomorrow to let you guys see the Christmas tree when it's finally up. So I'll actually close this vlog tomorrow. And with that, have a good evening, guys. Happy Sunday, the last day of our holiday weekend. Boo. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I've enjoyed these four days. Um, it's afternoon. It's almost 12 o'clock. I just kind of had like a lazy Sunday morning. I actually dyed my hair this morning because my roots were getting insanely long. So I kind of did that, you know, the girl routine and the pampering and all that stuff. And look, the sun. We have sunshine. It's like the first time we have seen the sun around here since I think like Tuesday, we have just had gray skies, gloomy days, which was kind of good because on the one hand, we had had like the longest warm stretch in November ever. Um, it was like 70 degrees, like two days before Thanksgiving, or like 69. So I'm actually glad the weather turned and it got cold because it definitely helped to put me into the winter spirit. Um, but, you know, when you just have gray skies day after day after day, that really kind of starts to wear down your psyche. So you start to get, you know, a winter, at least I start to get winter blues. Um, I love cold, crisp air, but I also really love sunshine. I find I need a healthy dose of both of those. Got to get your vitamin D in somehow. Um, that Christmas tree is still not up. <laughs> It's going to get up today, but not right now, because right now, Bill is running an errand for his mom. She's a little under the weather, but when he comes home, I am actually going to run out and do a little Christmas shopping, and top of my list is the container store. I want to go there because supposedly they have the most awesome stocking stuffers in the whole wide world at the container store. Um, you know, I need to pick up a few things for Bill and for AJ and things like that since AJ is now too old for Santa. 
and so I'm kind of interested to see the assortment there and just get some of that stuff done and then I may do a few other stores and then I'll come home luckily today I made homemade French toast for breakfast so we all had a nice big breakfast but um I don't have to cook dinner I made a big dinner yesterday and I made homemade stuffing and mashed potatoes and I used my William and Sonoma gravy and so the refrigerator is filled with leftovers and like I said just because it was actually it's not even four of us right now AJ's with his father so it was just me Bill and Casey there was no reason for me at all to even think of cooking a turkey that would just be way too much food even freezing the leftovers is just a pain so honestly I told Bill yesterday on the way home from the football game stop in the Costco and just grab a Costco chicken for five dollars so we had the chicken and once you poured over that turkey gravy you couldn't even tell you're eating chicken versus turkey so we basically had Thanksgiving part two yesterday just the three of us at home and then last night we chilled out and watched Batman vs. Superman it was on HBO last night and we had not seen it and Wow, that was a turd of a movie. <laughs> and I, as a rule of thumb, I like superhero movies. I really do. I love all of the Marvel Universe movies. You know, Iron Man, Captain America, Winter Soldier, The Avengers, uh, Thor. I like these movies. I really, really do. But, and I'm a huge fan of like the original Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Um, back in the day and I liked the Batman movies that um, oh what's his name the one who just did him Christian Bale Christian Bale's Batman where he did Batman Returns and all those I thought those were amazing movies the one with Bane was a bit of a stretch but the first one and the first two were amazing but that movie last night was very boring, very slow, and because they would have these dream sequences that were poorly timed in the movie, half the time you're like, okay, is this a dream sequence or is this a real part of the movie? I, I, I don't get it. So I did not enjoy that at all. The boy, Bill and Casey, they a little bit enjoyed it. I just thought it was horrible. Cause Sorry, for some reason my camera cut up. But as I was saying, for just people who need, you know, food lover, kids, all kinds of cute things here. Oh. Hello. Oh, someone's smart with a camera for ideas. Uh, I may braid the bank a little. Just a little. I just have to say, I love this store. This is really only my second time coming here to shop here. And they just, they have everything. I mean, I could really, truly go nuts in this place. I mean, I'm seeing things for co-workers, I'm seeing things for Susie, I'm seeing things for my children, my husband, just wow. Wow, 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 wow. Loving like everything here. I just, I cannot believe how much useful stuff is in here. And so, like I said, this is only my second time being here because this store just came to our area not that long ago. Ooh, I like this. This is, see, this is good stuff. Now I have one of these in my car. That's actually something I want to do soon as a car video for you guys. It's just really good stuff here. Oh my goodness. See, these are things I've always wanted. I never, don't always didn't want to order them online because they're always expensive online and you have to pay for shipping and handling. This is pretty cool. Okay, I may be setting my car up here. It's supposed to be Christmas shopping, but I'm also seeing a bunch of stuff I want. So I just experienced something I've never experienced before as a vlogger. I actually got recognized in the container store. Um, one, of the, one of the people working at the container store like recognized me and which was polite, you know, it's like, oh, okay, hi, you know, and they saw me with the camera vlogging in the store. And then the next thing I know, the manager <laughs> is there welcoming me personally to the store, uh, showing me things that would make for great presents. Um, 
and then like every few seconds, not every few seconds, but every couple of minutes, like an employee was right there asking me if I needed assistance, was there something they could do for me. Um, I was invited to watch the gift wrapping demonstration, which I was glad to watch that. It was really pretty. They actually did a really nice job of doing um, seamless wrapping paper. So I highly recommend it. But then, you know, I won the free roll of wrapping paper at the end and just, it was kind of a little surreal. Um, so, but they were very attentive. Uh, the people at my container store here, I mean, wow, they went out of their way to make sure that I was having the best shopping experience possible. And I did some damage. I will do a haul later with all of this stuff. So, cause I know you all want to see, I, I kind of plan to do that in there, but honestly, I kind of had to stop vlogging in the store just because they were being so helpful. It actually made it a little difficult to vlog. So, but now I'm going to go run to Target because I want to pick up some things from the travel section, little personal items. So that's the next thing on my to-do list today. Finally home from shopping. So as you guys know, I went to the container store and then I also went to Target and picked up a few odds and ends, little things for the house and for like stocking stuffers. I'm not going to do a haul right now because honestly, that's a whole nother video. It really is. So, and I just want to show you real quick that my darling husband put up the tree while I was out shopping because, as I've said, it just, it tears up my hands and my arms. So he put the tree up. It's almost 4 p.m. I will decorate this sucker tomorrow. <laughs> right now, I have got, I've got to start working on lesson plans. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this weekend holiday extravaganza for you guys. Sorry you didn't get a chance to see the finished Christmas tree, but I promise when the tree's done, I will definitely show it. And I hope you've enjoyed spending this four-day holiday with me, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.